That was really weird. Apologies for that. Yo, we got a really spooky feeling around here. I like how you can visually see the spooky feeling. Thank you for resetting the audio when I moved off by like a little bit. Thank you for that. That'll ensure I will not listen to the audio. Is there an item over there? No, okay. Okay, so let's just head across the map now. Let's go to the safe house and then let's hit the rogue signal. And then fucking eventually we'll get to the main mission. Uh, which was this way, correct? Yeah, it was this way. Kind of lean over a little that way, but... This car's moving a suspicious amount. Some of these things get logged, and, like, that one didn't get logged. Although now it appears to be logged all the way back over there. Oh, shit. Good sneak. Good sneak. Please give me some bullets. Please compensate me fairly. Gunpowder. So, like, yeah, like, it just opened up that quest over there, so I guess I'll just dash back this way and go clear up that. I guess. Like, are you supposed to, whenever you get that orange pulse, like, pop in... And like you've come across a new side quest or something, because you can you can lock on. Oh look, I just uncovered this too. Because you can lock on, but it doesn't like it just adds it to your map. It doesn't give you a direction or anything like that. I mean, not that I need everything to point me in the right direction for free, but it's just a little unclear how that works. I guess that's what it is. So I want to get into this house, which is going to require me maybe to take out this woman. Or woman, creature thing. Maybe, maybe I can sneak in the door, but seems dicey. Come in. Come in. 
And like some of these aren't new quests at all. It's just like you can still just see them, which is fine, I guess. So where did that one get logged? That was a silent door kick, precisely. The quiet variation. For extra stealth. What's happening? Final entry of this diary, penned in an unsteady hand. There's something in this house with me. I can't see it, but I sense its presence. I don't think I want to see it. I can hear those horrible things outside, they're everywhere. I'm afraid to go out there, but I'm afraid to stay in here too. I'm shivering, but it's not from fear. Why did it get so cold all of a sudden? It's freezing. It's a nice effect, just having a lot of the props jitter around like that. Oh, there's an item over there. Almost missed it. Did she go? Like I lost her. Yeah, this bit's pretty spooky. Okay, hang on. Where's the where's the, where's the card at? Did I miss it? Oh, this is a, a Sebastian bed. Please interact with Sebastian Bed. Yeah, there we go. Card. 
Yeah, okay, cool. This might get me out of here. Did I just imagine that? No. That was... What was that thing? Was that real or all in my mind? Okay, so I guess those give you photo slides. Um, yeah, so I suppose those are one of the side quest variations, since it's, you know, these things are all just side quests. Um, I suppose that's just one of them. It's all right. So, oh, I see. The handgun ammo pouch is literally right in front of her. So I gotta really want it. How much do you want it? This much. Ugh. What's your verdict on the safe head DLC for the first Evil Within? I thought it. That was my favorite part of the game, actually. God, she was able to get so many hits in so quickly there. I don't know that that was worth it, but that's what we did. At least we've been able to fairly frequently get healing items, so. I don't know that I need those shotgun shells. We still have a fair few shotgun shells, so I'm not gonna go get that one. But I will go go here. Oh, cool, you can set waypoints, okay. That's actually really helpful. Sometimes I read too bad, sometimes I read too good. Most of the time I read too bad. Yeah, I saw someone mention that you can run away after stealth hitting them and do it again. But I thought I could just take her out right away, so. So am I supposed to listen to the whole thing? Is that what this is? Is that what this type of side quest is? in here. Slightly in front of me. Oh, I see. You gotta feel it out. In the garage. There must have been another door in the house that I miss. Mm. 
Or can you open garage doors? Can I have opened that garage door? I didn't even try. No. Because this door is super locked up. There, there must be another door somewhere. that side door the door no this just leads into the kitchen oh hang on ah uh, that's right ah uh, fuck me totally my fault okay it's just in there file number 15 uh, following the events of Beacon Mental Hospital in 2014, uh, please report for your fitness and duty evaluation. Uh, nothing to worry about. Just take a few boxes. Answer what the hell questions. is this All doing right. here? Totally worth it. We got a file. Super good worth it. Very worth it. Oh, now the TV's on. Okay, make it worth it. Make me look like a fool. File number 15. Interview with Detective Sebastian Castellanos. Detective, could you please tell me about that day at Beacon Mental Hospital? I told you ten times already. Let's go through it one more time. <sighs> this is more like an interrogation than an interview. Please. Detective. Uh, that's me. Great observation. Yeah, so now we gotta do something. Can we go in this door now? No, it's still locked. Detective Oda, there he is, Joseph. Castellanos eventually opened up. Recent death of his daughter. Losing his grip on reality. We had a call. Something happening at Beacon Mental Hospital. We went in. But it wasn't the hospital. It was somewhere else. Are you certain that's what you saw? My story's not gonna change, damn it. It was like hell in there. A whole other world. And this all took place at the hospital? I just said it didn't. Jesus, can't you understand? I understand that you've been under considerable stress. That was the counseling they made me do after. Don't know why I assume that door might be unlocked now. I like that they're using assets from the uh I was inside of a killer's mind. It was area from the first game. That may be. But what good is it to hang on to this version of reality? Perhaps if we disabuse you of this notion, things will go more smoothly for you. Was he just head shrinking me or did he know something I didn't? He 
You cannot keep me here. Nice transition. Joseph? Where is that Sebastian from the first game? Can't quite tell. I think it might have been Sebastian and not Joseph. But his design from the first game. What the hell is going Joseph on? Joseph and him look kind of... I mean, their, their clothes are kind of similar, so I've, I've confused them before. <laughs> There's a red goop over there, at least, so... We got that. Were those just memories? Oh, yeah, you're right. Joseph wears gloves. Right, right, that's true, that's true. That is a good identifier. Good point. What do you want? Sebastian, are you all right? Your vitals suddenly spiked. You're about to go into cardiac arrest. I saw a beacon. I was there again. How could that be? This is a completely new stem. I don't know. But I know what I saw. God, I hope it doesn't happen again. It's bad enough in here already. I don't want to have to relive the past over and over. Place is trying to mess with me. Can't get distracted. Gotta find Lily. Okay. On with the mission. Um, so I'm gonna head to the safe house. So hit the road and then move sideways. Oh, maybe I shouldn't hit the road. There's a whole lot of Zambos. Nice, good tree. That one's all stinky too, look at that. too much. Nice. Good climb. The fallen Mobius operative was like right around here. Yeah, he's, I'm like right on top of him. Oh yeah, literally right here. I assume these Mobius operatives are like random drops or something. They just randomly drop and give you those, give you cash or not cash, sorry, ammo. Anything in this truck? Uh, maybe. No.
Okay, so if you hit an enemy with a shotgun, you can stomp them when they go down. That's super good to know. Have you tried shooting Zambos in the knees to see if it topples them? I should try that. I've been so scared to waste ammo that I haven't, but I should try that. It's a good point. Okay, let me coffee up. Where to coffee at? We've got quite a bit of goop, too. Let me just uh, look around the area, see if there's some more cash in here. There is the save, and there is a dungeon? Yeah, okay. So I'll do... What is this? Small vault. Okay, cool. I'll upgrade first, and then I'll go to the dungeon. Oh, you guys are having a party at work? That's so lucky, Commando Joe. That's sick. I wish I had parties at work. I got nothing going on. Back again, detective? Okay, what do we do? What do we do? So, um, Rose... One, two, three, and four, and columns A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. I'll take the first two that people suggest. That's A through H, and then one through four. Do it. Hit me up. I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to blame people other than myself. Three C and five E. Okay, cool. Three C. Ten thousand, nice. And five e. There's no five. What was the other one? What was the one after that? Four uh, h was the next one. Five e. <laughs> Four a b c d e f g h. Bottom corner. Okay, a health item. Okay, cool. So that'll that'll just sit there until we have uh, a slot for a health item. But we have a backup health item now. That's. I mean, it's not bad to have. How Those were good picks, guys. These nails right if you Those were good picks. My to be in 9S. <laughs> I understood that reference. Let's get the first treatment since it's so cheap just to get a little upgrade for our healing. So don't get me push kick. Kick stunned enemies away from you and 200% melee damage if I were to go for that. And down here was smaller kickback, okay. Let's get bottle break just for the few times it'll happen. That'll be pretty cool. <laughs> I just want to see it, right? So, what makes an enemy stun? That's a good question. Um, that's a good question. I, I I assume it's the states they go into after you shoot them in the head, but don't kill them, and they kind of just go, ah. Um, and sometimes when you hit them with a melee weapon, they kind of do that too, so. Yeah. Um, let's see. 
Ammo capacity has really not been an issue. We still don't have any high-grade weapon parts, though. Let's get a uh, shotgun firepower. Only 10%. Oof, that's not... I mean, too late. We got it all, but... The fire rate was actually really low. I did notice that. Oh, fuck. I forgot to craft. 61, so we have quite a bit. 10 handgun bullets. And shotgun shells cost 5 apiece. So let's, let's hold off of that right now. And I'll get at least one shock bolt just so we have one for uh, if we ever need to. So how do we change bolts again? Square? Nope. Nope. That's wrong. Square. Oh, you can actually visually see them on it. I see. Okay. Cool. Harpoon. Nice. slide too. May as well jam that in. Oh, we have two more. Hey, Kidman. What can I do for you, Sebastian? Literally, who took his photo, Kidman? My life was skidding off the track before I went into that place. Being inside Ruvik's head like that. I haven't been the same since. They tried to tell me it was all in my mind. But my mind couldn't have dreamt up the things I saw in there. You don't have to remind me. I was there too. Yeah. Your pals in Mobius didn't have any problem putting you in danger, did they? Maybe. But if I wasn't with you, we might not have made it out alive. There are times when I'm not sure I ever made it out. And now I'm in another stem. And I'm still with you. We're going to get out alive. Just like the last time. I hope you're right about that. You still up, Kidman? Yeah, it does now seem like it's just story life. recap mode. What's going on? I agree. I can't believe Lily is still alive. The fire. Lily wasn't killed in the fire. You know this now. Tell that to my brain. Tell that to the nightmares I've been having for years. Why did they take her? Out of all the little girls in the world, why mine? I can't answer that, Sebastian. Mobius took Lily long before I joined them. I know you don't believe in coincidences. But maybe you see a pattern because you want to. You know that some crimes just happen. There's no this is a whole lot of nothing right here. Just the wrong person, at the wrong place, at the wrong time. No. I refuse to believe that. Regardless, the fire is a memory that you need to purge, Sebastian. It wasn't your fault that it happened. And you didn't lose Lily because of it. Try to remember that. Thanks, kitty. Oh, yeah, you get green gel for remembering shit, though. So it's worth it. It's super worth it. Oh, and the mirror was over here. Okay, let's head over into this, uh, huh. this dungeon, I guess. Looks like it's oh, no, locked hang on. This dungeon has a password on it. I imagine there's a side quest nearby that'll reward me with that password. Okay, so let's just head to the next place. Yeah, we're still pretty early in the game, Spider-Man. We're in the first main area. I'm going to head around the back, and I'm going to loop around the back and go to this rogue signal. That's my plan. It's going to go super good. Through bushes, right? Yep. Nice. There's another stinky Zambo over there. Are you as obsessed with doing side quests before main story as I am? Um, usually in a game, at very least in like the first area, I'll feel very compelled to do everything. Uh, so I get a good 
grasp of what the game's contents are. Um, and then in subsequent, like, second and third areas, I won't feel so compelled necessarily unless the rewards are good or it's particularly enjoyable. So I think for this area, I'm going to be doing a bunch of the stuff, but that might end up dipping down a little bit as we get further in the game. How is it on PS4? Uh, actually, no performance issues. It's been really good. Oh, shit. She's just there. She did the, the the big horrible creature was just there. Just straight up. So is she like nemesis and she'll just appear? Nemesis Anywhere system. Hey, look, she's walking towards me. I don't like that. Oh, shit. I guess I'll just head over here now. I missed... Oh, fuck, I missed the sniper. Oh, no, so they were in that building, but I couldn't pick it up because we're in this fucking horrible nightmare mode. How does horrible nightmare mode end? Probably still coming, but I have no idea where she is. And also, again, no idea how to actually get out of this mode. Okay, we're cool. We gotta get inside this train car because there was legitimately like a thing in there. Um, so I guess we gotta go all the way back to the beginning of this train. Shit, did I walk by a statue? Damn. I'll go back for it. So you see how he puts his communicator backwards on his belt like that? Um, you can actually see the number on his communicator, and it seems to correspond to how far you are uh, from the objective you're targeting. See? The number is decreasing dramatically now that I'm walking this way. It's actually kind of neat. So this is not going to work. Okay, that worked out.
Okay, phew, that was just enough bullets. I was not looking forward to reloading mid-combat there. Are you fine with not lighting matches? Was that a thing in the first game? Yeah, he would light the match and put it on the body or something, right? I kind of remember that. You'd, you'd pick up matches and they were like a usable item or something? God, it's been a minute. Three years, right, since the first game came out? Damn. Totally forgot about that. So this door doesn't open, so you actually have to run all the way back. Maybe this door open? No. Either way, someone said I left a statue back there, so maybe I did. Oops. Did I leave a statue back here? I don't want to miss the statues. It's super fun to get to pop open those boxes, those loot crates. Oh, maybe I didn't. Oh, there it is. Totally did. Great call. Has this done Liam the Big Frighten yet? Honestly, it's not really that scary a game, so. So, not yet. That's, that's as spooky as it gets, as the thing pops out and yells boo. Like, yeah, the linear parts are, are definitely the bits that would get into the scares. These open areas are definitely not that. Okay, it's like right behind me, the Fallen Mobius are operative. So I should just go get him real quick. We're playing on survival difficulty, which is the default difficulty, despite the cool name. Okay, so let's go grab these sniper parts now, which were all the way back up there. Oh shit. That's how I interact with machines. 
And I get my green gel that way. Okay, but is the third time going to be an explosive? One more time. Nope, just a green gel machine. That's kind of fun. Those are enjoyable to hit. I mean, all you're doing is hit next, but it's like, how many rewards do I get? There's a certain satisfaction to that mystery. Okay, how do I get into this building? Via the roof? Oh my god, that house got leveled. I mean, the one thing I'll say about this open world is, like, there's just so many things that I keep getting distracted and, like, running from thing to thing, grabbing shit. So, pretty lackadaisical for a survival horror, don't you think, says Superbro. Yeah. You know, the gameplay's fun, thankfully, so... And I, and I very much enjoy small open worlds, just in general. Uh, so, I'm having a good time but definitely lost some of the agency from the first game in these open parts. I've got a workbench, but I don't think we actually need anything right now. Oh shit, there's a bunch of Zambos here. Waiting for me to pick up an item. If I pick up this herb, did they spawn? No? Huh, there's a greater mystery at play here. Okay, so where was I? Getting to this Mobius operative, who, again, I think is in that building. What's oh, that? Shit. Oh, in the parking lot. That's kind of worrying. How many games does zombies use workbenches? Gosh, I wish I could quote a number. <laughs> really high. Very, very many. Let's just estimate 40, but it's probably more. In fact, I can guarantee it's more, so let's just, let's just bump that number up to 600 and say it's right. Supplies of every cache is overrun with those things. Shit. How am I supposed to get supplies if every cache is overrun with those things? I should do it. You're not getting out of there, shit heels. James, it's Ryan. Come in. I locked a bunch of those things in the room underneath the auto body shop. I'm heading to the visitor center. Uh, James, okay. Do you copy? What did you did you lock James in there with them? Shit. There's a supply cache under here. I gotta get down there. Okay. A new signal. James, where the fuck are you? Get your ass to the visitor center. You're never gonna believe. Visitor center it is. I've got to find a way into this building. So I don't believe any of these doors actually opened. Oh yeah, is there a fuse box? Good question. Does The Last of Us have a workbench? I can't remember. Uh, I believe in The Last of Us you did all your upgrades on the plot. Oh no, The Last of Us does have workbenches. Yeah, 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 it does, it does. It does. Totally. You did a lot of upgrades on the fly and you crouched down and shit, but there were totally workbenches. I'm like 100% sure. Okay, I have no idea how to get in there. That's fine. It's 
probably just shotgun shells. Doesn't it? I'm like 100% sure now. To, to upgrade your weapons, you have to use a bench. Um, Resident Evil Revelations 2 had uh, workbenches as well. I need this worse than you do, pal. Okay, but he's like still alive. Are you sure you want to engage this side quest? Yes. Laser sighted handgun. Nice, that's actually really helpful. Oh yeah, Elgato time. Yep, you're correct. The Elgato is really not playing nice today. I have no, I have no idea why. I can't actually see stats anywhere, so... Wow. It, like, zooms in, too. Yeah, someone pointed out that the fuse box may have been in the auto body shop, and I think you might be correct. I walked by it, shame on me, but I didn't spy it. Did I look right at it? Where was it? Seriously, am I insane? This? Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, okay. It didn't jump out at me, because it's a different color from the other ones, so... Oh well. She doesn't know. Do you think she knows?
Maybe. down underneath it oh yeah, yeah, yeah there's a there's a hatch under the car so he locked a bunch of enemies in here did he huh cache here a bolt yeah okay so I think it's telling me to fire the explosive uh, the explosive bolt at those enemies I think but I could be wrong So I'm gonna need to shoot. Oh, it's one of them tripwires, though. It's like a tripwire for a tripwire. Yo, double tripwires are legit. It means you can't make mistakes and tripwire yourself. I wish the hitboxes on the head were just a little more a little more generous, but that might make it a little too easy. I feel like I miss so many shots that are aimed like right next to the head. I'm always like, damn. Dang. The Adam's over here? Yeah, okay. I 
We're doing pretty good on ammo, too. Yo, Metal Gear Acid's super good. It's super weird and different, and it's got a hell of a learning curve, but it's super good. Oh, cool, and we're out. Okay, so those just linked up. Now, we're out, but we didn't get the super treasure. There was, like, a number door and shit. And behind it is a super treasure. Like, do I legitimately have to go back and confront all those enemies with an explosion? Where'd that enemy come from? So much ammo. Maybe I do need to get the upgrade to reduce the recoil. Maybe I do. Maybe the recoil is just so much higher in this game and that that's actually causing me to miss. Maybe it's real. So I got a key card, but that's like... Oh. One, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, E. So what, what, what do we, what? B, 34. So that's, B is 58. And then 34, no, that's not right. B, 34, how do you, how do you factor that into it? Oh, 9634. Fuck, I'm stupid. God damn it. Sorry, guys. Nope, never mind. Sorry. 9676. I'm double stupid. I'm, I'm quadruple stupid. Yeah, why did my gun change from the... Did I not? Oh. I think... Yeah, that doesn't change the type of gun you have equipped there. So if I change type here, I have to... Okay, you have to go in, and then you have to set the shortcut on that specific one. But yeah, hopefully that'll help. That's certainly true. I was wondering why that unequipped. I hadn't even, hadn't even realized. Cool, that's good. High-grade weapon. Oh, nice. Cool. And now I guess we can get out of here. Did I leave something there? Oh yeah. All those enemies kind of vamoosed. The ones that were all sitting in that room that I was sure I would use an exclusive on. They all just kind of fucked off. Okay, so now we want to go all the way back to Rogue Signal. And we still gotta get the sniper parts too. 
So let's just set that at the end of the street. We still haven't even explored that um, that lot right there with that Zambo in it. I think one of them might be following me. Oh, and she's got an axe too. Let's see if I can just like get away from her and then stealth kill her. God, enemies walk pretty quick relative to your crouching, which is good balance. Yeah, I thought maybe I could get her. Yeah, I saw there was an upgrade for crouch speed as well, and that that will obviously let you counteract how fast they move relative to your movement speed. shot his hand. Sorry, that wasn't a very good display. Both in terms of gameplay and in terms of attitude. Yeah, maybe I should lower my aim sensitivity. That's true. There doesn't appear to be an aim sensitivity thing. There's camera sensitivity, but that seems like I'm gonna lose my camera movement then. Again, it's already pretty slow. I think I'll just have to deal with it. Do these enemies have a name? Uh, actually, as far as I know, they don't. I don't think, not 100% sure. They might, but I'm not aware. Okay, where's he at, though? So much for stealth. I guess I'll just spend this one and then go grab that one again. Oh, 
Shotgun's really satisfying. Yeah, I like it. Oh shit. Man. Damn it. I forgot to use the axe. So you don't seem to be bothered by weapon durability in these kinds of games. Why do you think it's more acceptable in a game like this than Breath of the Wild? So, I mean, to be clear, Hopefully that I trick. was not at all bothered by weapon durability in Breath of the Wild. I thought it was good, actually. Um, but I think people aren't bothered for games like this because it's not the primary method of attack. Um, like, the, the axes in this game are cheats. They let you just cheat and just kill an enemy instantly, right? Um, in Breath of the Wild, the weapons that break are your only... Well, I mean, you have arrows, but they're your only melee weapon. They're your, they're your main means of attack, I guess I should just say. Oh. Oh, you're already dead. So I think that's probably the main distinction. Did this board come out? Nope. So I imagine I shoot that. I'll just shoot it and see what happens. Well. So that's that's that. Maybe you were supposed to use it to break the board? Probably. I'm gonna say a probably. Oh, the barrel's gone. Did it regen? No, nope, barrel's just gone. Gonna say that was probably for the board and we just don't have it anymore. Oh well. Yeah, I did like the first game. I thought it was pretty good, despite its flaws. And it did have flaws. Boy, did it. And the gameplay feels like it's just about the same, but... I'm not really digging the, the loss of focus because of this open-world design. Oops, fuck. Just meant to take it away.
Yeah, I imagine if I leave that warehouse, some, something will set up a new barrel for you to do that section correctly. But I'm in no rush. The game's alright so far, Shockmaster. It feels like, uh, in some regards, it's a huge step up from the first game, like in terms of performance. But in some regards, it feels like a huge step down. Like, it's lost a lot of focus because it's, like, more open. Okay, let's get 30% critical hit chance as opposed to 1% critical hit chance. Is this game more Resident Evil or The Last of Us? Um, more The Last of Us, but the enemies are more Resident Evil 5, 6. More like 6, actually. Oh, I see what's beneath me. Okay. I may as well have a sound effect that says "woo." Let me see it. I've recognized this work. Him again. Very curious to see about this dude and where, what his deal is. Cool, that was really visceral the way they did it just there. Tough Sebastian line. towering and everything. That was, that was real nice. This is supposed to be art. More like an execution. Huh? Another communicator. Must be Ryan's. Huh. Mobius They're still relatively members. early, Jester King. If they I had to guess, I would guess we're on. firmly in the first third of the game. Like, firmly. Probably even earlier than that. I actually, as as we're going through this area, I'm beginning to suspect more and more that there's going to be a couple main missions located off the sides of this area. Like we haven't even gone to the first main mission. Oh yeah. Damn it. Oh, he sick. Go? That guy's dope. I like that dude. We haven't even gone to the first main mission, but I suspect there'll be at least two or three in this area. So we're still quite early because we haven't been doing main missions. We've just been doing side shit. If we were just doing main missions with this amount of playtime, we'd probably be like a decent distance in. But instead, we're nowhere. What the hell is this supposed to be? It's sick.
Yeah, I also thought he just said sick as in cool. For a second I was like, wait, what? Oh, that was a really nice that effect. That was weird. Even for this place. O'Neill's safe house is right there. Might as well give him the bad news about his entourage face to face. Close off this side quest. Find them? They're dead. But after what I saw, you're better off without them around. They were planning on killing everybody in here. An Alpha One emergency, huh? Can't say it's the worst idea I've heard. You're a real piece of work, O'Neill. You know that? I'm just being a realist. You can't save everybody. It's impossible. Mobius made emergency plans for a reason. If they never made this twisted machine, they wouldn't need emergency plans in the first place. Maybe so. But look at what they've done. It's pretty incredible. Still a company man after all this, huh? Hope your loyalty pays off for you in the end. Because right now, it seems like they don't give a shit about you. What do you mean? They sent you in here, didn't they? Sorry, I didn't mean to make you angry. Here. I made some more of these for you. For your troubles. Yeah, weapon parts. That Thanks. Tell me. <sighs> yeah. All these side quests just kind of feel like a bit of a waste of time. I mean, you know, not literally, because I got parts, but figuratively, because, like, they're not really doing anything for the story. Can I drink partial coffee? Yeah, you can. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think it's pretty good, Sir Rosing, but it's like a lot more open world than the first game, and I don't think that's a positive. So now we're just gonna go up the street and get these sniper rifle parts, and then we'll be able to head on to the first main mission. Finally. Yeah, and uh, VST PNV says facetiously, he, say, he says, you don't understand, the process was a reward or something, IDK. Uh, facetiously, mind you. Um, and yeah, like, that process didn't feel like a reward. It was kind of cool to see the guy with the camera show up for a second and do his thing, but, like, wasn't exactly a gripping side quest, you know? To be honest, I don't even remember the characters' names. shotgun shells, they were off to the side a little bit. Uh, Je Trouvray asks, so how many of these open world sections do you think there's going to be? I kind of get the feeling there's going to be like maybe three.
I don't think there could possibly be that many open areas in the game. No, he's got stuff to do. He's busy. Hey, Takahata101. How you doing? Welcome to the Evil Within. Where there's a surprising amount of side quests and not story progression. Also zombies who just occasionally run away from you. Like they've got better things going on. So let's check out this house too, because we haven't actually, we didn't actually stop in there. When the Dahaka showed up earlier, um, it seemed to me like in that escape from Dahaka mode, uh, you couldn't pick up items or anything. And they like despawn stuff. Are we in the spooky zone? Uh, you know, I wish I could say so, but this game's ambience is not its strong point. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to fight the stink zombie. Unless we can just kite it away. Oh, nice. Cool. Good melee execution. That's like the first one we've got in my deck. Nope, 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 nope. Thank you. So, like, yeah, we came in here earlier when the Dahaka had spawned, and everything, all the items were not pick upable. So. Oh, Zito, hey, I didn't notice you were in the chat. Shit. Hey, dude. Totally didn't notice. Sniper rifle parts. Okay, cool. So we can make. This part should we can finally make sniper our sniper rifle. rifle. I hope it's useful, but I don't know. Don't really want to fight that thing. No, back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Oh shit. I can't even quite tell what I'm looking at with that thing. I don't want to deal with it. Like, it's probably got good rewards, but you know what? Don't need it. Don't need it. I gotta move on. Finally, finally, going to the first story mission. And we didn't even get to do this, uh, this marrow over here because we didn't know the password. Oh, but maybe now that we've got that cipher card, we can sort the password out, actually. No, I won't stop and listen to the zombie's joke. I know she wants me to approach because she's got something funny to say, but I don't want to hear that. That only ends poorly. Okay, I think the coffee machine should be ready, too. Cool. I actually kind of dig the coffee machine mechanic. Because you can't just come back immediately and get, like, a full thing of health. you got to actually wait for the coffee to, to brew. And that's pretty cool. I wonder what the actual time is it. That it what the time... Let me try that sentence again. I wonder what the actual um, amount of time it takes is. So this was locked out. Oh, it's just completely locked out. We can't even attempt to cipher it or anything. Okay. And as far as goop, how much goop do we got? Whoa, 11,000 and two red gels? Yo, let's get out of here. I think we might, we might have one of the key as well. You just can't stay away from me, can you? 
I really dig how they're still using a lot of the Beacon Hospital stuff. I know my office is relaxing, but it's no place to loiter. No Keurigs in this game. Nah, man. That'd make it way too easy. So we have a healing item just sitting down there. Okay, cool. I can take it now. Are there more? Wow, okay. There was more than one healing item. So scream out, scream out which lockers you guys want. Because I need, I need suggestions. Because I can't accept this responsibility. 2B. This is a good pick. And A1. Alright. Those are good, those are good picks. Those are good, safe picks. 15 handgun bullets. Cool, cool, cool. I'm down with those. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Shit. I thought I had to back out of that. I made a mistake. Oops. Welcome back, detective. Can Tatiana be the next girl in Summer Lesson? Yo, if they had like a, a derivative Summer Lesson game that Tango made that had you sitting in the chair, I'd play it. So we got a lot. We got 11,000. And now we can actually do some upgrade paths too. We had uh, faster crouch movement. Let's grab one of them. Just one, can't afford the other. Oh, we're shy a little for defiance. Dang. Let's grab something else then. Um, I'd like to get reflexes. Because reflexes might be really cool. Just getting to dodge moves for nothing. So I'll, I'll work towards reflexes. Does Liam take advices for games or just no backseating? I mean, I'll, I'll read what you have to say for sure. But don't get upset if I don't take your advice. <laughs> That being said, spoilers is a huge no. Spoilers is a fast, hard ban. So, if anything involves spoiling something for whatever reason to recommend something, then I definitely don't want to hear that. Oh, this only costs 30? You know what? I should I should pick and choose real quick and just go and see how cheap the first... Yeah, 30. Let's get some cheap upgrades. 20. I mean, it adds up, it adds up, but for 20 or 30, like, whatever, I'll spend. I kind of like the upgrade system in this game and how it, how it uh, requires you to get, like, the rare weapon parts and the red goo and stuff. Oh, uh, Shazbot actually just said the same thing, he likes how it gates you, yeah. Yeah, exactly, that's a much better way to put it, actually. Oh yeah, no shotgun shells. Should have made some. Too late now. Okay, so we are 3 hours 43 minutes in and we are just about to get back to the story. And we may not have done everything in this area. We Oh, you know what? I can confirm we still haven't. We didn't do this marrow computer because we can't. So let's head right over to this uh to this resonance. Which I think was up the awful Zambi hill that was just covered with them. Which would be a great time. I should go check out that truck real quick, actually. Speaking of not doing story. Oh yeah, look, there's items in it. Okay, so now up Zambi Hill, which we've we've eyeballed before, but regularly avoided. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine enemies in sight. And let me just. Yep, <laughs> that away. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, let's just make make a real wide berth around these guys. Oh, actually, real quick. Let me just duck in behind this place. 
Can you get in behind there? No. There's an item back behind this fence, but I'm not 100% sure how you're supposed to get it. There must be an opening in the fence somewhere, but I just don't. I just don't see it. That's alright, it's just an herb. So, not too concerned. So let's give them a real wide berth. Let's just go all the way around. Wish I had some shotgun shells, but hey, we'll make do. We do have a lot of healing items, fortunately, so... That's nice. And now we have like a fair amount of health, too. After those last upgrades. What is this? Oh, wow, there's a first aid kit. And I can't pick it up. That's a huge bummer. That's a full health item. So if I have to have a big fight here, remind me to use a first aid kit. Joke's on you, I won't remember. I'll waste all my needles. <laughs> Far away, you thought that building said Toblerone. <laughs> you don't deserve the big Toblerone. Yo, Neo Yokio is pretty funny, I gotta say. I was kind of hoping we'd be led into a big places? mansion or something, and then it would clearly become a linear portion, but... I guess it's not time for that yet. Lily! Are you here? It's Dad. Where did she go? Thank God for these ghost footprints. Without Lily. them, I would never have tried the only door it's in the okay. room. It's okay. It's me. Damn it. All right, calm down. How do I get in there? Hey, Metroid Zard. Good morning. It's Lily's doll. She's been here. That's that well-dressed man. I don't know, the way he's sounding, that banging sounds really uncouth, actually, so maybe it's not like that. Lily. Oh my god, she's in trouble. No! Someone is chasing her. I should check out around back. See where that window comes out. She's in trouble, no kidding. How long has Lily been the core stem? I actually don't know. I don't think we got a timeline on that. All right, Lily. Where did you run off to? Take care, Shazbot. Have a good one. I'm like locked here right now. I can't move. There we go. What the? Another signal. Good. I'm coming, sweetheart. Just hang in there. So yeah, I guess we're gonna do this a few times before we actually get back to any like fully linear section, unfortunately. That's a bummer. Those those are the real, real strengths of the evil within. Um, and the second game has really minimized that. Okay, but well, we gotta fight all these. Unfortunately, still no shotgun shells, but... Okay, I don't like that. Oh, you can't 
can't stomp. I, I ran up to it because I was like, yeah, I'll stomp it. Where's the other one? Thank God I'm fighting in this huge environment. Dirty as fuck though, these things. I whiffed a lot of shots right at the beginning, but yeah, it's fine. We have so many crafting materials, we can honestly like fill up on bullets anytime, so. But right now I do have to be a little careful because I only have three bullets, period. I don't believe I have an axe. I do not have an axe. Too close, but that's fine. I legit don't think he can actually catch up, so. Or, I, you know, also legit think he doesn't want to catch up. <laughs> Sounds like someone's in trouble. Oh, yeah, side quest time. Those things will kill her if I don't do something. I only have three bullets. Let's do our best. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> we need to get some bullets if we want to do that side quest. That's not happening. I imagine it'll pop us right back after the uh, the two foes at the gas station. I hope that quest isn't actually timed, because she said uh, uh, Sebastian said, "Oh, I gotta do this now" or whatever. I hope I can actually go back and grab some bullets. Yeah, that's exactly where we're at. Oh, but we're before the enemies. Yes, there is a crossbow in this game. Actually, you know what? I did have crossbow bolts. It's true. You know what, we can totally take him. We can totally take that batch of enemies, no problem.
seven bullets plus the crossbow, which Sounds I like like, totally omitted on the last run. Check Those it out. I'm going to let them all gather up, and I'm going to use the crossbow's explosive bolt. Okay, so that dude's going to hang out. Oh, no. Why did that equip the shock bolt? Did I do that wrong? How do those, sorry, how do those work? How do those work? Sorry, how do those work? <laughs> Sick animation, though. <laughs> I guess they have to hit a target. Guess they have to hit a target. So there should still be one left. So I'll try my best. Fortunately, I should be able to pick that back up. Oh, yeah, and I might be able to stealth this dude. Yeah, okay, so we got it back at least. Okay, I, I would say this worked out. Yo, Metroid Zard, okay. yeah, in the last two hours care. you missed zero story. Please open the door. I need to ask you a few questions. Yo, what Thank up? Thank you. You saved me. I thought I was a goner for sure. It's okay. Calm down. What's going on out there? How am I supposed to know? If anybody should be asking what's going on, it's me. Look. I just got here. I'm even more confused than you are. Oh, yeah? What's your name? It's Sebastian. Sebastian Castellanos. Well, then you're not as confused as I am. I can't even remember my own name. I don't know what day it is. I don't even know where I am. God, what's happening to me? Just try to remember anything you can. One minute, I was in that office being interviewed by that... Asian doctor lady. The next thing I know, I'm in this town I've never been to, wearing clothes I've never seen, and there's this guy who says he's my husband telling me to run. I'm not married, mister. None of this is real. It can't be. Let me ask you something. I'm looking for my daughter. I, I'm gonna start I cutting haven't seen any this. kids out there. Damn it. Six years old? Oh, I'm sorry, mister. Poor thing. Me too. So you just... Hours, days, I... the last thing I remember was being in that office. What office? I needed some money, so I answered an ad. They took my blood and gave me a physical, and then that ate... I don't under... Does the name Mobius... I don't think so. What can you tell me about those... I don't know. You should stay away from... Any idea? That guy who said he was my husband's kept looking over his shoulder. It's... Then all of a sudden, he's screaming and starts... It was horrible. Next thing I... So they used to be regulars. I don't know anything. I... I'm gonna try okay. to figure this out. Stay in here and keep the doors locked. Mayship asks, safe "Why does there? a horror game need I'm not this?" Not going anywhere. That's for sure. I don't know. But thanks. I mean, they—they, they, you know, they clearly you wanted to make a more house? elaborate production with a bit more of a world and stuff. But I can't honestly say that I unambiguously think it was a good idea. I think it's good for you know playtime. You know, I'll have more to do before I put the game down, but. I think it does lessen the impact of the story a bit. Or I shouldn't say lessen the impact, but it kind of cheapens it a little. I don't know. I don't know. Wish I could do more for her. But finding Lily is the so best. So we refilled thing our ammo, here. and I bet that'll lead to another side quest.
Oh shit, yeah, look at that. Takes a while. Takes a while. I really wonder what the exact figure is. Must be like 20 minutes or something. Must be like a fair length. I specifically came in here just to coffee up. I guess I can use the first aid kit now. I guess this is my opportunity. Yeah, so let's go, let's go grab that first aid kit that's a million miles away. Yeah, Metroid Zard points out, why didn't you invite her back to your safe house? <laughs> Good ass question. Oh yeah, someone earlier said 20 minutes for the, um, for the coffee. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can craft the sniper rifle, that's true. I guess next time I'm on a bench, I'll, I'll put it together. For now, I'm pretty. I'm feeling pretty comfortable living on the edge with just my handgun and a bunch of explosive bolts. <laughs> Do you need to have finished this uh, the first game to play this story-wise? Um, so story-wise, this picks up after the first game and after the first game's DLC. Um, however, it. It seems like they're doing a really good job of, of catching you up on the essentials. Um, there's a lot of exposition for for the story from the first game. So if you missed the first game, I think you'll be fine. Let's try this again. Where are you? The, the recaps seem fairly thorough. Can I open this door? No. Found a bush. Can I open this door now? <laughs> Fuck my daughter, I need these weapon parts. Like, what the fuck was the point of that? They're just like, go listen to this shit. Oh, look, we put another marker on your map all the way over there. Go do it again. I'm gonna reset the Elgato and I'm actually gonna unplug it this time. Because I, I, I don't know why it's doing this so much today. Some days it's fine. Some days it has zero problems. Some days it has a million problems. It's weird. So we got the sniper rifle. I, I like how the sniper rifle stays there. You could make another one. <laughs> Do you want a second one? Good luck. Let's just fill up a little bit on this. And I guess let's get a few shotgun shells. It's so expensive. That just burnt through all my, com my fucking parts. I probably should have been a little more frugal there. But whatever. Sniper rifle for a second. Oops. 
Yeah, I mean, it seems pretty capable. When you crouch, it doesn't make the... It doesn't make it waggle less, so... Seems alright. Came with a bunch of bullets, which is nice. How does the weapon upgrade system in this game work? Are there like talent trees and stuff? Um, so how it works is like it's it's pretty linear. Uh, you, you have four like linear upgrade trees, um, one for attack, one for reload speed, one for uh, capacity, and the other one for firing speed. Um, and you purchase the upgrades with um, your spare parts, and then you use. Uh, special parts to like undo gates that are partway through that let you like unlock the next tier of power. They're pretty straightforward though. It's basically a skill tree, but like really linear oh, ones. Thank God. And now we're doing this over here too. This is this is the most filler. This right here is the most filler. It looks like she stopped here to hide. Like, I get it, you're trying to illustrate that she ran all over the town and shit, but like... Who do they belong to? Come on. She must be in that warehouse. Oh, so now that fucking plank from earlier is gonna be out of the way. Lots of good places to hide in there, I bet. What was the over-under on that plank now being moved? Also, I believe I left an axe over here, like, two hours ago. Thought I did. Maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, look, there's a place up there. I should head up there. Uh, you know what? No, that's okay, actually. I don't, I don't actually. <laughs> don't actually want to go down. Or should I? No, no, I'm good. I thought I left an axe around here. I guess I was crazy. Have you seen Supergiant's Pyre Dynamic game for PS4? Ooh, I haven't yet. Their transistor one was really nice, so I should check it out. Still there. Lily, it came from upstairs. Oh, but there was a little. She probably crawled through here. Gotta get through. Wow, look how capable Mr. Castellanos is when he needs to be. I totally did leave an axe around there. Okay, cool. Thank you, little girl. Thank you for the validation. She's be okay. I feel I a little less her. crazy now. Let's just crack that door open before I move on. You always have to push the door first, as far as I can see. And then the second one will be this break. It's just a big waste of time. Deal with this story stuff first, because I might actually have to exit by, by this route. I swear I didn't do it.
Where'd that enemy go? Spooky. When's RE7 DLC? Uh, it's coming out in December, so... December. I'm very excited to play it, though. He took my axe! Oh my god, why? Sebastian just got totally stuck there. Like I was mashing the melee button and he just stopped doing anything. That's okay. I only took a very slight hit, so that's fine. They actually do very little damage if they just hit you with their hands or whatever. It's really when they get you with weapons or their mouth that, like, it does a lot. And the weapons do a fucking lot, for sure. Nice, another health kit that I can't use. Wait, no, was that not a health kit? Or was I actually missing one? Or was that sniper of I don't know what I picked up. I'm quite lost. Wait, what's that item there? Oh, syringes. I'm full on syringes. Guess I may as well use one. Smoke if you got them. Also, like, we've already got 13 out of 40 files. That's kind of one of the other reasons I feel like there can only be two or three of these open areas. That's, that's a sizable percentage. We're approaching 50% of all files in the entire game, you know? So I feel like there can really only be so many areas. Take care, VSTPNV, everyone. Another doll. But where's Lily? Oh, oh, we're going to do all three dolls, are we? Wow. Shotgun shells and handgun bullets. Uh. Hey, Paulinus. Not much is up. Yeah, they probably filled up that last room with enemies. Isn't the rule of threes wonderful? You get to do everything three times so that the game's sure you've learned it. Did you finish Danganronpa V3 yet? Yes, I did. I, You know, I initially really didn't like the ending, but I've come around on it actually. <laughs> Even, and even though I didn't like the ending originally, I still thought the game was the fantastic. The camera. And now I think the, the game was fantastic, and I do like girl. the ending. So. I was so close. It's a really Damn interesting it. ending. Calm down. Think. I gotta save her. No more a, signals coming into really this communicator. Loose I need to find there. another way. O'Neill. Not sure I can trust him, but he wants out of here as bad Time as I go back to O'Neill. Oh God, he's stuck. Sebastian, can you hear me? Is that you? You're breaking up. Shit, not now. Maybe it'll work better outside. Yeah, Time Alama. The ending to Danganronpa V3 is crazy. It's divisive is the word. There's a climb prompt there. Yeah, how often is it in a video game where you're fucking happy to see the hallway? You're happy to just walk along there the line. You are. But 
Where's Not Lily? often. Can't let him get away again. Don't want to fail this tailing mission. Hey! You! The girl! Where is she? Had there not been that embargo, would you have LP'd Dang it on V3? No, I wouldn't have. Too open for spoilers. That's kind of cool. That's not a bad one. Do fight now. Sebastian. You're still alive? I mean, you're still alive. Good. Were you able to locate the core? No. But I know who has her. And he's got powers like nothing else in here. But I lost him. I think I can help you out with that. I picked up a frequency I've never seen before. It's coming from City Hall. Great. Where's that? Look up. Do you see a building with a big clock tower? Yeah. That's it. Oh. How in the hell am I supposed to get up there? Yeah. It's a bit complex. Impress me. Come back here, I can explain. Sure. Right. I'm on my way. I was just about to use a healing item, but I remember the coffee. That would have been bad. That would have been embarrassing. Stink. Look at that one walking right in front of the camera. Ruining the camera shot. Okay, so we need to go all the way back to O'Neill's safe house. I think the best way might be to go through the back alley and then down past the church and just book it. Because I, I, I suspect when you actually get in the safe house, enemies can't follow you. I suspect. <laughs> She's just like, yo, I really gotta be over there right now. Oops. I appreciate that the enemies in this game really know what they want. And when they want it, they fucking get it. I wanna be out of here. I wanna be right there. I don't wanna fight you. I do wanna fight you. They all know. Cool, I think we actually just bypassed all the enemies. I think that was the only enemy in the path we chose. Cool, that worked out. How much loot do we have? 5,000? That's a fair amount. Not in a rush. Uh, bullets, bullets. I think we're pretty good on bullets right now. Coffee, though. Okay. 
Not sure if okay is the right word, but yeah, I made it. Now, tell me how to get to City Hall. Union was built with a sort of backstage area, so hmm. Mobius operatives could observe the test subjects in secret. Most of these passageways are still intact enough to bypass the fissures in Union. Oh my god, there's like a bunch of, of ammo and stuff that spawned the over there. How are there tunnels? They're passageways, not tunnels. When you go in and out of them, you're basically phase shifting. We call it the marrow. It exists in a layer separate. Oh, am I going to get the password for that other marrow computer? Sense. Fortunately for you, it doesn't have to make sense. All the way at the top to of town? But it's a maze down Fuck, there. it's all the way across the, the map. Take the wrong path, you could end up on the other side of town. Where's this marrow that gets me to City Hall? And who comes up with these ridiculous names? I'll mark the location of the port. It's in the north safe house. Looks like a regular computer, but it's not. I'll give you the password you need to activate it. Once you're inside, follow the marker to exit B2. That should take you straight to City Hall. You could have told me this on my communicator, you know. Maybe so, but I couldn't have given you this. The passageways are still intact, but the collapse of Union has caused infrastructure issues. My communicator says that the gas leak is blocking the path to exit B2. You'd never make it through alive without this. Deadly gas leaks, huh? <laughs> Thanks for saving the worst for last, O'Neill. Based on what we've seen so far, I doubt that it's the worst you'll encounter. You're not helping. Anything else you need to yeah, do? Yeah, we're playing on go? PS4 Pro pulling us. But the only the only increase for the pro is boost mode. But it runs 1080-30, and according to Digital Foundry, it's really stable. And, I mean, according to me, it's also really stable. <laughs> In the north safe house, all the way across town! Woo! Fuck. Holy shit. Pretty good about how much we have right now. Let me just put a marker so I remember. So I'm gonna go up this street. We're just going to the end of the street. Yeah, Rudicorn, this is one of the open world parts in the game. They are... They're an interesting idea, but I don't know that they really pay off in execution. I admire the idea. I'm trying to take what you made and evolving it in that way, but oh shit. Oh shit, did we just stumble upon some sort of side... Oh shit, shit, the Dahaka. Damn, I wanted to go up. I literally wanted to go up on that roof because I realized I had never gone up on that roof and she's up on that roof. So I think the fortunate thing about the Dahaka is she despawns all the other enemies. So I think this kind of just gives us a good opportunity to get where we need to go. There's a stinko right, right in front of the base. Right in front of Mother Base. Perfect. Perfect execution. Amazing. Flawless stealth, boss. <laughs> Just probably throw the bottle know 40 meters on. off to the side. <laughs> Kidman, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What have you got for me? The good news is that I located O'Neill, and he was able to get me on the trail to find Lily. That's great. The bad news is that Union is literally falling apart around me. And it's mostly populated by corpses. Seems like and we're monsters. about to go to a linear section. Oh, by and the that way. psycho I told you about? So, the one with the powers you shouldn't have? 
He's got Lily. I'm getting ready to head into the marrow, which you neglected to oh, tell me about. Oh. To get to him. Yawn. I'm sorry we didn't have time for our briefing before sending you in, but we didn't think it would be this bad. It's just as bad as Beacon in here. No, it's worse. My daughter wasn't stuck in Beacon. Okay, calm down. Maybe I can help you out. Can you give me any information on this person? Male, about five foot ten, black hair. He fancies himself as some sort of artist. That's not much to go on. Tell me something I don't know. I'm on my way to City Hall. I'll call you later. So this is the computer O'Neill was talking about. Let's try that password. Oh yeah, loading times again. You know, they really should have told us about the fast travel system earlier. That that omission of information was really mean of them. not be a linear section. That's what it has to be. Oh yeah, another boot machine. How many? One. Two. Three. Yeah, bomb. Just a smoke grenade though. I think that's probably a teaching tool right there. Showing you that explosives can pop out. Because I remember... In, was it in the first game where there was a similar thing? Or was it another game? I don't recall. Seems like things didn't go so well down here either. Do you still level up with the weird brain goo? Yes, absolutely. Which is a huge plus. Oh my god, did you see that map for a second? Look, for like a few frames you can see the full map. This is a big linear area. It's not a bad thing though. Could this be the whole map of Union? It used to be so huge. Union's growth is exceeding projections. Stem pod manufacture has been increased. Union expansion has been drafted and is scheduled for rendering. Due to population growth, the Union environment map will have to be enlarged by 50%. In addition to the new res to new residential areas, a farming zone and industrial zone will be added to accommodate job assignments for new citizens. Neat. Looks like they were still designing parts of Union in here. Yeah, they haven't announced any, like, season pass or anything for this game, have they? The first game had a big season pass with, like, two mini-campaigns and then the amazing Executioner DLC. The Executioner DLC was so good. I would buy a full game that was like that Executioner DLC. Played in first person as the safe head Executioner with his hammer. And it was, like, almost like a boss rush. It was a real thrill, actually.
Okay, so this is a shortcut back to the beginning, which we don't really need right now. Was there a prompt there? No, okay. At least I assume that's a shortcut back to the beginning. Yeah, 100%. All these awful rooms I can't go in. None of them look like a good time, but I don't even have the choice. Emergency lockdown procedures are currently in effect. Lockdown can be disengaged by tuning to the frequency on your okay. communicator. Might as well give it a try. Isn't that, is there a prompt here? Yeah, there Exit B2. Looks like there's a route. As long as it still exists. Those are all right. Really simple. Like lots of games have those exact systems. Stand by. Recreation area emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. Nice. The glass. The bottle. The bottle. The bottle. Yo, the bottle's so good. <laughs> That's such a good ability. guys coming from? I hope that's it. Need to conserve ammo. Nice, that was a good fight. I feel like I'm starting to get a hang of the of the combat a little bit. Also, like now that I have a few of the abilities and the um, and the bottle and stuff, like you have some like legitimate counters to some of their powers, the combat feels like it's kind of coming into its own a little bit. That felt good. This is just a little corner. Okay. Oh, look. I investigated it, like, over to the side, and it went to that first instead of opening the door. That's good. Jesus, the smell. Is that not an examinable body? No. Yo, uptime is more like almost five hours, Pride of Fiddles. We've been playing for a surprising amount of time, but it's not like the game's bad, so... 
Yeah, Sinister Broccoli. I would say I am enjoying the game, but uh, similar to like a Xenoblade game, if you spend too much time on the side quests, you'll not enjoy it quite as much. I, I had a stealth comp on them. I could have totally stealthed them, but too late for that now. Bummer, I could have had some ooze. Would you have preferred a fully linear game? Um, so this is the maybe. Gas leak, huh? Thanks. I think I'll have to play the full game to find out. Never make it through without this. Because if, if that was like the biggest one, then then no, I'll be fine. But it's like a nice first here. person section here. This actually feels a lot like when you play as the executioner. Oh, yeah. Give me an axe. So I can't use my gun right now. Flammable. Damn. That means I can't rely on my firearms. Neat, neat, neat. This seems like a fun section. Yeah, I'd play this in VR for sure. Reminded me of uh, Human Revolution and Mankind Divided a little bit. How you pop out to do the execution and then you go back in. This is the scream corner. The holler hole. Do you think PSVR will become like the Vita? Um, I think PSVR has a much better shot of not becoming like the Vita. You know, they... My personal sentiment is that they axed the Vita because they realized they had to work on curating one good environment of content because they weren't going to succeed if they were only like half in on the PS4, half in on the Vita. Um, so I think the PSVR has a huge advantage because it is part of the PS4's... Um, electric lock. Damn. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, it's part of the PS4. Gotta follow the trail. So, I mean, it's part of the PS4. If I can't find the exact word I'm looking for, I'll just simplify. Um, part of its ecosystem is the word I was looking for. So I, I think I think it has a good shot. I mean, I, I, you know, they just announced a new revision, which is nice too. There's still a lot of games coming out for PSVR. A bunch of games were just confirmed for PSVR today, actually. Today's the first anniversary of, uh, of uh, PSVR. It's been one year since it released to the public, which is really cool. And it's been a really strong year. Oh, sh that's just a spook. So I don't know, I think PSVR is in a really good place, and, you know, hopefully developers will continue to support, hopefully the consumer base will continue to be there. Um, But right now, I think it's doing good. Sales have been good. That that that's known. So that's a plus. Right now in Canada, there's actually like a crazy good deal you can get on PSVR where like um, the headset alone is down to two ninety nine, or well, it's it's a headset and and camera like the the core bundle is two ninety nine Canadian, 
um, and at a bunch of malls, Sony has like booths set up where you can try the uh, PlayStation VR, and they're giving out um, hundred dollar off coupons uh, that are good at EV games, bringing it down to one ninety nine for the core bundle, um, which is like actually ridiculous good. Has there been any development updates for that one VR fantasy tower defense shooter? Um, if you mean No Heroes Allowed VR, that actually comes out next week. Um, and it looks great, and I'm excited to play it. That's actually like a first party title. Hopefully that did something. So, cables, where they go? This way, this way. This section's kind of neat. It's not like blowing my mind or anything, but it's, it's different. Uh, thank God, that mask smelled terrible. Wasn't there a rumor that you'll eventually be able to use PSVR on PC? Um, I don't know if there was a rumor about official compatibility for it. I, I just don't know. I know you can use PSVR on PC, though. Uh, there's a, a program called Trinus VR. Uh, it's pretty much specifically built for using PlayStation VR on PC. It's not by Sony, so the compatibility is not guaranteed. But it does work. Um, setup is a huge pain in the ass. But I've heard a lot of people say, yeah, it works. Works great for them. So, um, so yeah, if, if you have a PSVR headset, you can totally set it up to work on PC. The thing that doesn't work on PC, really, is move controllers. Um, there's no tracking solution for that on PC, really. So you've got to have some sort of motion controller to use. Whether that And that, that'll probably have to be like Oculus Touches or whatever. Um, but, yeah. But the price drop on Oculus Rift was pretty good the other day, down to three ninety nine for the full set, which is real good. They've got a lot of uh, good exclusives coming too. I'm I'm glad that Oculus is continuing to like really invest heavily in games. I wish Vive invested in games, you know. That's why I'm so apathetic about Vive, despite it having the best tracking and stuff. Or well, it doesn't really have the best tracking anymore. It's about even with Oculus. So they're Oculus and Vive are pretty much on even footing now, um, with Oculus being way cheaper. Um, that's why I'm so apathetic about Vive, though, is, like, they don't actually invest in software. So. I'm not sure if I should... I think I want to check out these stairs first. Um, but I'm happy to see Sony and Oculus continue to invest in software. Like, that's the kind of stuff that makes me feel confident that VR is going to last, you know? I wish Valve still cared about making games, yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. I, I don't know if you meant that in relation to Vive, because uh, if you did, I will point out that uh, Valve doesn't own Vive. Um, that's HTC who owns, who owns Vive. Valve obviously cooperates with them and stuff, but... Uh, yeah. Oh, Ancient Amulator. Yeah, that, that game is out on, on various VR platforms. I, I was actually playing it just earlier today. Funny you'd mention it. Um, it's alright. It's, it's not bad. That's a little rough. It's, it's uh, a game developed by Chinese game development company, and thus is a little rough, but it's alright. I enjoy it. I did a video on it actually a little while back. Eric Mazzino says VR is too expensive for me for essentially a gimmick. Um, I will totally accept VR is too expensive for anyone, like, no problemo, but like, it's super not just a gimmick, like it's it's really good, it's, it's like a whole other level of immersion in titles, like genuinely. I wouldn't say it's just a gimmick. 
for some games it might just be a gimmick, but like for some games it adds so much. Found a statue in a little while. Are you still wanting to play Skyrim in VR after hearing how the controls and gameplay seem to be worse in VR? Um, I so I saw from a lot of non-VR centric outlets that they were Here like, "Yeah, this sucks." But then I saw from a lot of VR outlets where they were like, "No, this is, this is fine. This is." And I I read up on it a little bit, and I'm totally in the camp of, "Yeah, this is fine." It seems like the non-VR outlets are really responding poorly to, like, teleportation movement everywhere. Um, but you can just play it with a controller, and it plays exactly like Skyrim, in but in VR. So, if anything, I think I'm going to get Skyrim on VR and not on the Switch. So, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, RE7 is nuts in VR. So worth it. Yeah, I don't know why they haven't really mentioned that you can just play it with a controller. I think they're not demoing Skyrim VR with a controller because that type of stick-based movement... Um, kind of is, is one of the things that can make people ill if they like haven't got their VR legs yet, you know? Um, whereas teleporting is is a lot safer to demo in that regard. So maybe that's why they're demoing it like that. Is the headset worth it without the move? Um, you'll have to check like based on what games you want to play. But there is like like a lot of games that you might think need the move controller, actually you can play without the move controller. Um, Sony's done a really good job making sure you can enjoy games with just a DualShock. Um, but I think having the PlayStation VRs is a, is a better experience. Uh, the PlayStation Moves is a better experience. But um, check like pawn shops and, and stuff because you can find uh, PlayStation Moves uh, really, really inexpensively at like pawn shops. Um, I, think it's still, I think it's still a good time without PlayStation Moves. You can just make sure that when you're buying a title you you you're you aware like you of what use some help your control detector. options are oh we have no locker keys there's nothing wrong with being cautious but you can't avoid fighting like forever maybe you should think about adding some combat skills is that an actual genuine recommendation like hey Player, we noticed you're not doing that. You should do that. Maybe that was. Look, we added combat skills. You happy now, computer? Push kick. Okay, we get a kick prompt. Yeah, VR is still really limited, of course, with your input options and how how you have to handle gameplay. But it is still only like just about year one and a half for commercial VR. For PSVR, it's one year to the day. Um, what the hell is this? For Oculus and Vive, it's, it's a chance to test almost your a year skills. and a half. So step right up and try your you know, luck. Still early detective. days, ultimately. Hmm. This is insane. You'd be insane to pass this up. Steady your hand and put your shooting skills. Yeah, to and work. it's heckin' expensive too no right need now. To worry that's about that's for sure. In here. No fighting that. This is like the RE4 shooting range. Is 
Seems like your upgrades might carry in. Can I just push one up? Nope. Needed to find out once. Okay, we lost a bunch of points from Tatiana, but that's fine. Still got it. <laughs> it's cute that he does that pose. 50 weapon parts. Okay. Rank cowboy. Gallery mode and chain attack mode. Oh shit, look. All these rewards just listed out for you. Oh fuck, look at this. This is a great thing to just have in the game, because why the fuck not, right? That's actually really cool. That's a really great mini game to have in here. That's fun. Hey, shooting range is good. Hey, Namhart, and thank you. Those mini games are solid. Ain't got nothing bad to say about those. I think I actually have to. I actually have to cut and run. Uh, I didn't realize how late it was. It's five thirty already. I think we started streaming it twelve five hours ago. I have a. I have a party to go to. Always a pleasure. I know I. I get invited to cool stuff just like you. I'm a cool person too, just like you guys. Let me just spend this. I think I want to get Defiance, but I also want to get, where is it? I also want to get Reflexes. I should actually, I should focus on getting Reflexes. Just automatically evade, that sounds like fucking sick. That sounds so good. Especially getting the second tier. So that costs 15,000 total, plus a red one. I really want to get that. You want an IHOP? We don't have an IHOP in Canada, as far as I know. Yeah, party next Friday, too. Every Friday. You know it, Billy. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna save and wrap up for today, but I'll be back on tomorrow, actually. We're gonna just continue straight up tomorrow. Yeah, if you got rewards every time for reaching that score, you could farm really easily, but I, I, I imagine you only get them once. That would just not work otherwise, so. Four hours, 54 minutes. Well, shit. I think that's a pretty good game. I think if you spend time doing the open world shit, um, just like Xenoblade, you'll fucking burn yourself out, like, instantly. Um, 
because boy are those like side missions and stuff. They're totally nothing. So yeah. Anyway, I gotta get going. Uh, I'm actually later than I, I'm, I'm still streaming later than I should be. So uh, I'll see some of you guys tomorrow with some more Evil Within. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in, and uh, yeah, take care of yourselves. Sleep, sleep tight, guys. Good night. Goodbye. Take care. Sorry to leave quickly or in a rush, but uh, I can't be late. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye bye.